So in this session, we're going to explain a relatively complicated modification work. So once you follow this session and done the work, so you will be very proficient since the um, uh, electrician and you can do almost everything around the house, I believe, not only on auto, uh, audio gears. So this is the beauty. I think I hope you have the patience to go follow all these things. So to make it more um, reasonable, explain I, before I do the final modification work, uh, I would like to explain on these uh, schematics to show you what will be done and understand what, why we do this. And um, as you can see, the work is about um, uh, upgrade a, a Bryson 4BST to a equivalent Bryson 4B SST or SST square, which is the new ver version. Um, <clears throat> the reason I want to do this work is the 4B ST is a very, very good design with two separate transformers compared with the newer version, the 4B SST and SST square. They actually downgraded to a single transformer. <clears throat> um, so I prefer the do transformer for each channel, so for better channel is isolation and everything. Again, Bryston is a very famous brand, and the 4B series is the most popular in the Bryston product family. Um, I think a lot of people own this product. After you read this, if you're interested, just go ahead with the modification. I believe you, you would definitely love it. At least um, for me, I love the result very much. Uh, now, come back to this schematic. So you can see um, on the right hand side is the uh, 4BST output stage. So I only show the, one, uh, the upper side of the push pull circuitry. And the left hand side is the 4B SST or the SST square, which are equivalent. So basically, also on the same side of the push pull. So, um, so the first thing you immediately notice is the circuitry topology is totally different. The 4BST uses serial, serial kind of a connection between the, the, the output stage. You can see there's a so-called extension board, the, the trigger board. So this is in serial of, in, of the uh, output transistor. So it increases significantly of the uh, output impedance, the lower damping factor. So this is this is the reason they improve this circuitry to a parallel circuitry for the newer model. You can see the transistors are in parallel now so that it has higher current capacity and lower impedance and the much better uh, damping factor. So you can drive more challenging, say, uh, speakers. Um, so from this original serial topology to this parallel topology. This is the first thing we want to modify the circuitry. It looks pretty complicated, but actually I will show you in real world. It's not that much uh, complication because Bryson has very, very good, good design on the 4BST. They use modular design and they use some sort of socket you can take advantage. So this is, uh, this is uh, uh, relatively uh, easier than it looks like. And the second thing you can see is the uh, transistor, the power transistor used. Um, I prefer the older one, they use a metal can uh, packaging and the newer one actually is the, uh, the newer plastic molding kind of a transistor. So the older one, people are talking about better sounding, warmer sounding and so on and so forth. <clears throat> and also better thermal, thermal property because the metal can. Um, so we're going to replace those metal can with um, Motorola MJL21193 and 21194, but it's the metal can version, not the, this new this version in the SST. So this is I consider is the better than the newer version part. And uh, thirdly, if you look at this voltage driven stage um, you can see the new version changed to the this load uh, resistor from 22 ohm 
to a 50 ohm. So there are four of them. Um, so basically I prefer this 50 ohm because lower the, uh, the driving current to make the, the, the driving uh, transistor in a better uh, RV kind of uh, curve stage. And um, the next change will be this output resistor. So it's not, to change these uh, resistors is not difficult work. And also at the same time, you can change to a, to, to a higher uh, uh, wattage of power resistor to cool down the, uh, the resistor itself. So you can see the uh, ST is a 0.15 ohm and the newer version is used 0.3 ohm. The reason is for a more stable kind of output stage. But because the transistor are in parallel, so the equivalent uh, uh, resistance is about 0.15, so similar as the older one. But because we eliminate this serial kind of topology, we're going to have much better um, damping factor and lower output impedance. So this is what we're going to do and in the next session I'm going to show you how we replace all these components, how we change the topology and so on. So um, see you next session.